I got my copy of People Magazine in the mail because I'm a subscriber, and in it is an incredible spread of many and several pages of all these different um, veterans that are doing extraordinary things. Please check this out. Okay, and another way that people are honoring vets today, USA Today reports that restaurants like Applebee's, Wendy's, Starbucks are offering free food, coffee, and more, and all you need to do is show your military ID card or VA card. Yeah. I love when we have information like that because you can just do it today. Um, and all craft week long, we've been going uh, for some Pinterest inspiration. Pinterest pop, ladies and gentlemen. I know, I'm really excited. Sorry, I thought there was a graphic coming. That's why I paused. Um, I'm really excited to announce a collaboration I'm doing with Domino Magazine, one of my very favorite magazines, Obsessed. I even got to be on the cover of the very first issue of Domino Kids with my girls, and it's their first kids issue ever, and I recently just launched my own Pinterest page, but I'm proud to announce on it there is a collaboration on the board, and it's Domino Kids x Drew Barrymore. Here are some pics. That's actually my pool house. Um, and I just really love kids' worlds and kids' rooms. We have flower kids, flower homes. These are some things you'll find on the board. There's also some really imaginative inspiration for bedrooms. Um, that's me actually holding Jonah's flower pillows and the beautiful blanket he knit for me. We're actually going to see him in the next news segment. So it all threads, if you know what I mean. Okay, so uh, check out the Pinterest page at Drew Barrymore. It's full of stuff. So, uh, all right, it is time to talk Bachelorette as an ongoing social experiment. I'm watching Bachelorette for the first time ever. It's Batch Watch. That's right. Now I think we do have a graphic for that. Perfect. Here we go. Um, and uh, boy, did I pick a good season. Joining me today is Entertainment Tonight correspondent and the host of Roses and Rosé, Lauren Zima. Hi, Lauren. I haven't heard Hi. Of Thank you so much for having me. You are such a joy. And you did pick a season to begin, Drew. You picked a season where we're getting about four seasons in one. I mean, this really is an, orth an orthodox roller coaster. Okay, so last Thursday, Clara and Dale officially got engaged after all the scuttlebutt. She is not playing by the rules, and she's like barreling down on everything. Let's take a look at this clip. Next for you guys, moving in together, wedding, what's up? I think like, you know, obviously. Babies. <laughs> uh, really like. We we talked. Yeah, you just bit. you just skipped right <laughs> over that. Yeah, yeah. You just skipped right over that. <laughs> no, are we are we having babies first? We're we gonna get married first. Yeah, Whatever. we're gonna get married first. Whatever uh, happens. True. That was the babies heard round Bachelor Nation, wasn't it? Uh, you mentioned that Claire and Dale just got engaged, and I think this is indicative of the speeding train that we are all on, whether we bought a ticket or not. I know. And then enter Tasha. This is her third Bachelor endeavor. She was on The Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise, and I think she's just gorgeous and stunning. And with her came four new guys. I mean, I feel like the guys on the show are like, we're all fascinated, but the guys on the show must be like, what is happening? And Lauren, you just celebrated your two year anniversary with Chris Harrison, who's, <laughs> you know, master of ceremonies. Is there like any fun, like tea to spill or things to watch out for? What, I mean, you must have all the inside <laughs> scoop, how fun. You know, I love to watch the show as a fan, so I will say I try to avoid the spoilers because I recap it on my show, Roses and Rosé, so I want to make sure that I am living in the moment and doing things like hearing Claire say babies uh, for the first time with everyone else because uh, what a moment it was, Drew. I think that Tasha is going to be the yang to Claire's yang. Yeah. You know, I think Claire was a drag race and Tasha's a road trip. And in both situations, there are sights to see. What did you think? I need your opinion, Drew, on that well, moment with Claire and Dale. I'm just glad I picked such a wild <laughs> season because it does keep it really fun. And there is more to discuss with everyone. And that was the point of all of this. And I'm just like you, Lauren. 
I like to keep my reactions really fresh. So a lot of like, everything's very planned here. We're very detail oriented, but there's a lot of spontaneity and you can't fake that. So I'm with you. Keep it fresh, Lauren. Thank you <laughs> so much for coming on. And maybe we can do this again. Oh, Drew, I would love it because there's going to be more. As I said, we we got last season, last week we got, what, a fantasy suite, a season finale, and a season premiere all in one. And then we got another season premiere and an after the final rose last night. So, uh, Drew, uh, sip your coffee and let's talk about it more. We, all right. We need the cafe. Roses and Rosé uh, also do not miss her show. And uh, we'll do more of this if we can. 